I'm, I'm really surprised how this all went down, if I'm being honest. I mean, you know, you're very outspoken about it. Uh, I, I, what? You have such a strong opinion the other way. I thought that you would indulge right. with it's me. It's crazy that I'm looking out for my friend, and I'm telling you it's not a good idea. Do you, do you believe in your heart of hearts? Do you believe there is a chance, if I did this, that I could get in some form of trouble for you? Yes! Me? I'm not asking you. <laughs> I, hey, you little bitch. I'm talking to you directly. <laughs> I'm coming on tour, and I don't always do it, so you got to come see me, and here we go. April 15th and 16th, I will be in Louisville and Evansville. April 23rd and 24th, I will be in Tulsa and Oklahoma City. Beacon Theater, New York City, first time, May 14th. There's going to be some surprise guests there, and that's all I could say, but you do not want to miss that. And then I'm going out west. Callie, I'm finally coming to you. I'm going to be in San Diego on May 21st and at the Wiltern Theater in Los Angeles for the first time ever on May 22nd. Every is available right now at SavileCanoComedy.com, you little bitch. April 8th, the Egyptian Room at the Old National Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. April 9th, Denver, Colorado. April 16th, Wall Street Theater, Norwalk, Connecticut. April 29th, Wind Creek Event Center in Pennsylvania. ChristyComedy.com for all the ticky wickies. Thank you, guys. We'll see you at the show. I mean, we come in with a little energy if you're going to do it. If not, don't do it Let's and we'll make a thing it. of it. Let's do it. Come on. I got Ready? you. Yes. I'm Here we go. The, I'm leaving yeah. this in. I don't, I don't need you to worry. worry. No, it's not good. <laughs> I don't need you to worry. No, no, no. Start over. Ready? I don't need you to worry for, for me because I'm all right. right. Bam, 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 bam. I don't want you to tell me it's time to go home. Bam, 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 bam. I don't care what you say anymore. This is hey, babe. Bam, 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 bam. Go ahead with your own life. Leave me alone. Hey, What's up, babe? babe? How you doing, babe? Hey, babe. Oh, you fell right into it. Thought I wasn't going to get into the No, spirit. surprise. Babes. Surprise. Surprise, surprise. Chris Stefano has a severe case of COVID. <laughs> I know the pig has swine flu. And he couldn't be here. No, uh, we don't at know. The if last COVID. minute. Chris is not just sick, gen generally yeah. not feeling well. Uh, we thought it was best for him to rest up uh, as we're all burning the uh, the candle at both ends. Yes. And uh, in for the substitution, the hot tag in, as we say in wrestling, is. Everyone's favorite, Joe DeRosa. <laughs> yeah. From the No Press Family, No Press Network. This well, you're, you're the one. I mean, well, you and Chris are adversaries, yes? Yes. And uh, you do a web series, an IG series, yes. called Dis Stefano, Stefano. Yes. Where you rant and rave about Chris and you call him, you know, a pig, pig. and things of that, of that no, nature. That's the only thing I call him is a pig. How many episodes are out of that? Maybe 10. 10 episodes. Yeah, not a ton. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's got, it doesn't have great legs. No. <laughs> it's got some legs. But I'm saying it is ironic. But it's that hard to think of new ways to call him a pig every time. For him. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I substituted for you on the show when you were out. Correct. Uh, but I didn't call you a pig or anything like that. But today, I, I'm calling him a pig. Okay. Yeah. Let's just, look, this is just, we chatted up. So let's just launch it to be your usual personal self. <laughs> be your personal self. I can't stand that Why? you guys get to just coast through this podcast. But now's your chance. <laughs> every week. Coast. I know, but every week you and it I. It can be a little we're difficult sitting, more at times. We're because in like the war room. Every I know. Week we are trying to come up with battles. I know, I know. And you guys get to just waltz up here. And no, but sometimes it's sometimes the structure songs. of our show is complimentary because yeah. you're like, all right, we are something. To, we no, have I something know, to I focus know. on. I tease. I kid. I, I kid. know. I know you do. So how do you how do you do it on this show? What happens around here? Oh, we just have a grand old time. But I mean, do you have top? I see Pimp is throwing things up on the screen. Pimp once in a while brings something up, and we talk about we talk about. But usually, it's just a, a an ADHD riff, ADHD riffathon. ADH? Do you have ADHD? I don't. Really? Yeah. How bad? They told me bad. <laughs> they told you right. They said it was. Uh, they said it was uh, severe. Severe uh, is the severe? word they used. I think. I went for the test. Have you ever tested? Anyone? No, I feel like everyone thinks they're AD, ADD, ADHD, and uh, I felt the same way. And then it got to a point where it's like literally affecting my life. And so I made an appointment and I went in. They hooked me up to all these bands on my forehead, my ankles, my feet, and my legs. 
And then I had to watch a computer screen and shapes would come up on the computer screen. This is in the doctor's office. And I had a mouse and I had to click on the shape whenever I saw it. And I was like, okay. And then I did it for like, they leave the room and I'm alone in the room for like 20 minutes, half hour. And the shapes come up. I click, shape comes, shapes comes up. I click it, right? Shape. And when I was done, I was so nervous that they were going to tell me because I, I, I really, it affects a lot of stuff I do. And I, it was, I was finally in there because I said to myself, I need help. So I knew I had it. But when I took the test, it was so stupid and easy that I was like, oh, I, I got a hundred on this. Like whatever this is, I aced it. And now I'm upset because they're going to tell me I aced it. And they're going to tell me that I don't have this when I know I have it. Right. Because it was nothing. I just clicked on it every time I saw a shape. They came in, they took the stuff on me, they printed out the thing, they went in. He goes, well, you have severe ADHD. And I was like, how is that even yeah. possible? I did, it was such an easy thing what you told me to do. And I think that maybe it wasn't about clicking on the thing. I think it was maybe about maybe my movement the whole time because they put bands all over me. And so maybe I was like fidgeting, but does that mean you have ADHD? I don't know. Here are the symptoms here. Being unable to sit still, especially in calm or quiet surroundings. Well, that's one of them, I guess. I have that. Constant fidgeting. Okay. I have a bit of that. Being able to, unable to concentrate on tasks. 100%. Excessive physical movement. I don't Not have necessarily. That. Excessive talking. Not necessarily. Sort of. Being unable to wait your turn. Wait, let me, yeah. let me say something. Yeah, right? No, not that necessarily. Acting without thinking? No. Because I, I think I have this sometimes. ADH. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, can we call this episode ADH Babes? A D H Babes? A D H A D H B. Okay, there you go. A D H I don't yeah, know, yeah. maybe. Now it won't no, it won't come up in a search. Uh <laughs> oh my god. Pete Davidson got Kim Carter, she's named Brandon on his Pete. Jesus Christ, he's getting his tattoos removed and now he's He's burning her name into his chest. Is it real? This doesn't help everyone who thinks she's like in a satanic cult. You know, it's a little <laughs> Do people think she's in a satanic cult? I know nothing. Uh, oh. I mean, it remains to be seen. That's so. That's so. <laughs> that's silly talk, though, right? But yeah, that that's. I mean, that wild, is. Uh, I, I mean, that's not a tattoo. That's a branded. So he burned it into his chest. Yeah, let me see oh. How do people know that though? She went on uh, the Ellen Show and told her about it. so ellen's back oh. in the picture too oh ellen's i thought ellen left her show no ellen's Still back going. on so kim kardashian went on the ellen show and talked and admitted that pete branded her name yeah and also that she he has other tattoos on his body about her so yeah he she said he's getting them removed but also has a few like one saying my girl's a lawyer something like that is on one side is and she then, a lawyer yeah she's a lawyer or she she's passed studying. it she's studying. She passed the bar she passed the bar? Yeah. I didn't know the she was first The baby bar. Yeah. Or maybe she did pass it. I wanna, anyway, she's in love. Okay. I want to hear her talk about him. Yeah, but then he should have branded my girl past the baby bar. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> my girl's a little lawyer. Is that kind of sending? Lil. <laughs> yeah. Wow, branding is a um, commitment. That's insane. Pete doesn't do anything half-assed, probably. Pete, but that's nuts. Come on. Uh, Especially for a guy that hops around the way he does. <laughs> you know what I mean? This kid is not a settler. Let's be honest. Uh, yo, well, He's that's, a that's, that's one way to say I'm here to stay to, to, the, to the people that be. Until you post, it's not real. Yeah. 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 Does, that, does that feel to you like that was something that you needed to do just to get it out of the way? Like it was people were waiting to see... That Wait, so Ellen's back on the air? Ellen's fully back. I didn't know. And I want to be like, oh my God, we're so cute. And I want, you know, but then I'm like, you know. She is one of the most evil people on planet Earth. Ellen. I heard stories when I worked in that lot, when her show was going really strong, I heard stories about Ellen left and right. I heard, I heard, I heard two Ellen yeah. stories. That's how it works. Like in a lot in, in L.A., you you don't hear much, but what you do hear is about, sh you never hear about good stuff. You hear about the shows where there's nightmare things happening. So I heard, I would hear about Ellen. I'm so sorry that you guys just had to deal with Joe DeRosa. I'm here now. I know it's like, I don't know if some of you got, I mean, 
I don't know if I'm sure people were vomiting and I apologize. Like if you guys want, you know, we can give you some money for new clothes or if you vomit in your car, I apologize for that. I know it's repulsive. Um, but I, I, I had a, I had a fever, a fevey weevy. Um, and, um, I just couldn't make it to this, to the, to the show. So Joe DeRosa filled in, even though I was like, I'd rather not have an episode go out than have Joe DeRosa fill in. But Sal was like, we have to have it come out. So Joe that I, you know, I guess I do it. Thank you lesbian for um <laughs> for filling in but i'm here now daddy's home daddy's here now and uh and and no I'm kidding thanks joe i appreciate it i i went to joe de rosa sandwich shop yesterday and i ate just the cold cuts um <laughs> wow. and and when you eat just the cold cuts it doesn't taste as good um but Sorry, uh, actually, the re yeah, you know, today with the day we're filming this is actually April Fool's Day, so that all that was was just a big April Fool's joke. That was the April Fool's episode. It was just a big April Fool's joke that we had DeRosa co-host. I'm here. It's me. It was April Fool's. I'm here. I'm queer. And I'm here. T Sal is not here. Um, by the way, you know, you know what's crazy about what just things like whoa, I'm just was like great. So. All I've ever in my life, it's just so funny how Backyard Borrowers keeps fucking me oh. at every turn. They, all I've ever wanted in my entire life is to go to the final four. All I've ever wanted to do in my life is go to the final four. <laughs> I've never went once. I've also never been to New Orleans. I, all I've ever wanted to do is go to New Orleans. I love New Orleans. I've always wanted to see that city. And I, they have really no comedy there, so I never went. And go to the final four has been like goals, goals, goals. This year, <laughs> for the first and only year, True TV sent all of their TV shows, of course, including <laughs> Practical Jokers, to the Final Four <laughs> and have them all sitting courtside and all doing things around the Final Four for True TV, big promo, all that stuff. <laughs> And because I said, Sal, where are you going this weekend? He said, I'm going to the Final Four. I said, ooh, fun for, you know, like, that's cool. Like, you know, you're going to take your family down. He goes, no, I'm going for work. I was like, oh, like, just the Jokers? He goes, no, actually, all of True TV's going. I was like, yeah. I was like, I, um, I'm going to be, uh, I'll be on Highland Boulevard in Staten Island <laughs> just trying to um, not tr throw myself into traffic. So I just want to <laughs> say quickly, real quickly, uh, Bagger Bowers, I'm sorry. If you want to get last minute, just get me down there. I'm listening. <laughs> oh, um, I'll even fly coach. No, I, um, I, uh, yeah, so it's just fucked me once again. Um, but what can you do? It happens. But that, so, so he, he's down in New Orleans. I'm here uh, at, at, as Pimp co uh, coined it, Chaos Manor. Um, and hey, guess what? Um, uh, it's, uh, it happened last week by the time this, cause this comes out next week, right? Yeah. Thursday. It happens, you know, it happened last week, but the United States back in the world cup, baby, Italy didn't make it. The United States made, we haven't been in the world cup since 2014. The last time the United States was in the world cup, guess what happened? The very last time the United States was in the world cup on their very last game, the game that got eliminated, Chrissy got drunk, went out to a little bar called place to beach, met Delilah and Violet's Mama Jasmine had sex and has kids. So this year, for this year, for the uh, United States final game, I think it's only right to go out there. And I think it's only right to go out there. And what should we do? You know what? I'm going to go out there and I'm going to have sex with a transgender person. That's what I'm going to do because I've evolved. I've evolved. And technically, she can't give me any shit. It's not cheating. My opinion is this, if you were, I respect whomever wants to be trans, but if you were born a biological male and I go down on you, it's not cheating. Sal's probably so happy not be here for this part. Oh yeah, this is Hey Babe, sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. This is Hey Babe, this is Hey Babe. Um, now that I said that I confirmed that from three people, I know I'm never gonna be on the Ellen show. You, why would you want What if she wants me to come on, then, then this comes You out. wanna sit across from this denim nightmare? <laughs> Look at her face! Look at the expression she's making at Kim Kardashian talking about how she found love! Look at the hatred in Ellen's eyes! Dear God, dude, she's she's she looks evil, man. Like it's wild. But like that pixie cut, it makes her almost look a little keebler. -ish. I said it <laughs> Yes. She, she does. She looks like an EL Fudge. Well there's a pixie, it's a whole that's Ellen, the Ellen Fudge. <laughs> e L E L E L L E L E L E L E N Fudge. E L L E N. Everybody loves Alan. 
I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I but used to like Ellen. Uh, well, I don't dislike her, but I I used to like uh, when she first when I first saw her doing stand up a long time ago. I was like, oh, I kind of I kind of dig Ellen. I was never like a huge fan of her stuff, but she seemed like a pleasant lady and yeah. she was funny and everything. And like, well, I've I heard think, I've heard real well, nasty stories. But that's the other thing. But too, you don't get like, to be like a billionaire if you're not. If you if you're not she, a certain type she's type a, of she's um, a, personality, right? She's a walking brand. Uh-huh. Yeah, like you know what I mean. She's a she's a walking corporation. Like, okay, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, as is Kim Kardashian. Yeah, but Kim's yeah. famous for different. I'm not saying Kim's nuts. I never met her. At what amount of money do you, do you think you become evil by accident? But I don't even think it's by accident. I think you have to like I th- I would give I'm not just saying this because she dates Pete. I would give Kim Kardashian a pass because she's not famous through her own. She's famous because she stumbled into it in a weird way. Like her dad was famous and her mom well, kind of like momager. Yeah, and then like the show got on TV. You know what I mean? It's a little bit different. I think when you're somebody like Ellen, where it's like you're like, no, I'm doing this solo, and my goal is to get up there, and you you get to the top of that mountain. That's why I don't think you're a sociopath because you, <laughs> I'm being honest. You you and the guys have quite a bit of fame. I mean, you're you're known. You're right. famous. Okay. <laughs> but it's not because you didn't you didn't sit and go and then I, you know what I mean you did a thing Where yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean you I did a know. thing the thing got picked up the thing exploded is that what anyone does no no there are people that strategize and, I just think and you, you, they climb the mountain I just think you, two things happen you either lose lose sight a little bit because you're surrounded by people that just yes you to death and stuff like that or you were that person that was not equipped for it to begin with You know, not everybody's equipped for it. I don't know one person who went the route that Ellen went and has gotten anywhere near her stratosphere of success that is not a sociopath. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) that just goes without saying. So like Oprah, Elon Musk. uh, Look at Oprah. Oprah goes on TV and goes, we need to fight for women. And then she's hanging out with Harvey Weinstein. It's like, what are we we talking about? Uh, What are we talking about? Post everything? No. No. It was during, but every single person that came out after that he got busted said, we all knew this was going on. Hey, babe. Hi. I don't know where at the Chrissy Chaos Manor filling in for Hey Babe because Joe DeRosa ruins everything. <laughs> you know, they just said this is just happening live, but Jada Pinkett had a response. She broke her silence, Jada Pinkett, about what happened last week at the Oscars. Well, so, the, the Hey Babe audience has heard nothing about this. Hey Babe doesn't know about this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, um, where, where? Here, go. Google Jada Pinkett Smith break silence. Let's see what Jada, let's see what Jada said. Jada Pinka. I know. Wow. That why homeless pimp just did something. He put, I said, Jada Pinkett Smith break signs. He put J A D E A and J E D E N P I N K break signs. And the internet said, you need to do better. If we have no search results. <laughs> what did Jada Pinkett Smith say? Broker signs Tuesday cited healing. This is a season for healing. And I'm here for it. Jada. You said nothing again. Oh my God. Is she getting trashed in the comments? I mean, could you imagine posting this bullshit? I mean, oh, God. I mean, she looks evil. Yo, evil as can be. Oh, my God. Heart queen, we're here, here for, for you. It. Oh, Vanitia commented. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no, I mean, come on. Like, why? Do you feel, do you guys, do you feel, Pimpy, that celebrity is losing its power? No, or that it's lost its power to children. Like I, I, when I go see my 13 year old sister, like they believe in them more than they believe in their own family. Interesting. No, you're about to witness it when you have these teenagers in this house. Yeah, that they trust the word of TikTokers more than they give a shit right, about you. TikTokers, but I'm talking about actors and actresses. Do, do your sister it's the same celebrity to them? To them, that's the same people. Well, yeah, because I noticed because when I was watching, um, when I was watching Euphoria, I googled some of the people that I'm like, oh, you know, not thinking, all of them have 10 million Instagram followers. To, even the guy Fez, Fez, the guy that plays Fez in the show, he was serving brunch in Brooklyn two, three years ago. And now he's got 9 million followers on Instagram from this is his only role. So it's like that show for the youth is like, that's a viral show. Yeah, and some of them started bands and they're at music festivals. So these kids are smart. They know how to capitalize on the celebrity. I don't think celebrity is going anywhere. How does Zendaya 
She's been an actress for 10 years in the public eye, and she always plays a 16-year-old. For the last 10 years, she's consistently played a 16-year-old. I don't know how the hell... I like Zendaya. Zendaya is, an, is one of the only actor actresses I've seen. She's not trans, right? She's a girl. Is Zendaya a girl? I'm, I don't know who that is. She, she identifies as a female, and she's dating that Spider-Man guy. Tom Holland? Correct. I thought he was gay, gay, gay. Well, he's uh, straight, straight, straight with Zendaya. I heard Maybe Tom gay, gay Holland. I thought Tommy Holland was fully, I thought he was a gay man. Is nope. Zendaya from New York? Um, I don't know, but she's a Disney kid. Disney. Oh, so she's been in the game a long time. Correct. Because what I like about Zendaya, what she has to me is palpable likability through her acting. It's like she's so likable. Tom Holland is open to the idea of Spider-Man coming out as well. Ah, Tom Holland's Spider-Man is gay, but as a person, he's straight. Spider-Man's definitely gay. Yo, Spider-Man is gay. <laughs> yeah. Spider-Man is gay. Those webs that he sh that's just come that he shoots out of his hands. Runs around the city shooting come. That's what it is. Um the fact that Tom <laughs> hey babe, the fact that Tom Holland isn't gay is pretty mind-blowing to me right now. But people say that about you. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I'm almost sad that I'm not gay. All right, listen, guys, Roback, this company, Roback, give you a little symbol right here. I'm honestly telling you the truth. Best shirt I've ever had. This performance hoodie I'm wearing, it like hides my nipple fat like you can't imagine. I've been wearing, you're going to notice on every podcast, you're going to see that symbol. That's Roback. Uh, the KFC guys from Barstool mentioned it. Everybody's mentioning it. These, this shirt is like legit dope. They got performance hoodies, performance polos, uh, performance Q-zips. The material is insane. I feel like I'm just going to work and I feel like I'm a five-star athlete and it just fits my body, right? You know me, baby. I'm Chrissy Nooks and Crannies. I got fat in all these little Nooks and Crannies and Rollback covers them all up. I truthfully love this shirt. The material is sick. Like, look at this. Just the material is dope. Comes in nice packaging, nice, nice, nice colors to bring out the color in your eyes. And in all honesty, Roback has been getting traction big time. We see the big dog. We see that dog logo everywhere. And who doesn't love dogs? Honestly, dude, if you're a cat person, that's the thing. If you're a cat person, you're a little creepy for me. So you can just go wear another shirt. But if you're a dog lover, which you gotta love dogs to be a normal human being. Then go with Roback. There's the beautiful dog on the shoulder. It's nicely placed. And right now, if you use the code BABE, all right, guys, and you're going to get a great discount if you go to Roback.com. That's R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com and use the promo code BABE, B-A-B-E. Promo code B-A-B-E, BABE, Roback.com. 20% off your first order through the end of this week. All polos, Q-zips, and hoodies and tees with code BABE, B-A-B-E, Roback.com. Go get the hoodies. All right. What do you want to eat tonight, babe? Maybe you want to have a home-cooked favorite but don't feel like going to the store. Or maybe you want something inside and new, but it would be great to stay in. Let me tell you who can handle both of them. DoorDash, baby. It connects you with everything you want, whenever and however you want. Along with the restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items in under an hour. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose your favorite natural restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and the Cheesecake Factory. For a limited time, our listeners can get 20 per uh, I'm sorry, 25%. So not even 20%, 25%. That's how great DoorDash is for a limited time and zero delivery fees on the first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code HEYBABE, H-E-Y-B-A-B. -E That's 25% off, up to $10 value, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code HEYBABE, H-E-Y-B-A-B-E. -E. Don't forget that's code HEYBABE for 25% of your first order with DoorDash, subject to change, terms apply. You know, I just like, no, I'm not. I'm trying to be, but like, I just know I'm not. How far have you gotten on trying? The choice of being gay. <laughs> I've got, I've just really tried to think about it. I really try to get gay. I try to do like butt kegels and I just try to like, I mean, look at this, look at my shoes I'm wearing and it just doesn't feel right. These sneakers, by the way, they, um, I stole them from a photo shoot <laughs> and they are called Lanvins. Are they called Mike Lavins? What are they called? <laughs> they, I don't know. They, yeah, something. Lanvins. They're Lavin. nice. They're nice. They, but they, they, they go up and it feels like I'm wearing a high heel, but it's a sneaker. I think this is how you should go clothes shopping from now on. Why three pants? <laughs> Zara sweatshirt. Book photo shoots and steal it. I stole everything. And then the Silas flew to Tokyo and was like, just keep it. 
What the? That's fucking dope. Yeah, and I ripped one of the jackets right down the back. Really? It was like an $800 you jacket. Did Chris Farley? Yeah, I just ripped it right down the back. <laughs> I was like, I'm a, dude, it's crazy, though, that there's a shirt. I had to put on, for the photo shoot, a shirt that's $600. Like, what, have you ever bought a piece of clothing that, not shoes, clothes that's $600? Well, I was in Never Vegas. Never in my life. I was in Vegas with you, and I went to all the designer stores. I almost bought a Versace shirt that was 2500 Whoa! It was fire. It's fire. I could easily, if I had real money, I could easily. But my question is, if you wash that and it shrinks, you're done. Yeah, you. Or you don't wash those types. Bring it to a dry cleaner, like a like a like, and not like just any dry cleaner. Like there's a professional. Yeah, I'd probably research who to bring it to. Yeah. Yeah, because that I mean a twenty five hundred. What if you get a stain on it? Cares. What if it rips? I'm gonna drop dead soon. Whatever. So if you had a twenty five hundred dollars shirt and there was a cigarette hole in it, you wouldn't throw. You would just be like, "All right, well, rock the it. shirt would morph with you." All I do is work. I'm wearing the twenty five hundred dollars shirt to film you at a, at a show somewhere. I genuinely believe in my heart. <laughs> I genuinely believe in my heart. In the past ten years, I haven't purchased clothes that would accumulate up to twenty five hundred bucks. Not shoes. I'm talking about clothes. I know sneakers can get expensive. I'm talking about clothes. What do you spend on like a polo or a button up? Fifteen dollars. He rocks the H and M, and you rock it well. Like because it's just basics. Like at the end of the day, like if you know how to dress well, you're fine. Basic. Deadass, like fuck brands. I'm really hate brands. Fuck brands. I'm a basic bitch. That's I'm an old navy queen. Basic. I babe. mean, you just yelled Lululemon for like two years straight. <laughs> <laughs> no. But is Lululemon basic or that's real shit? Oh, it's basic. Basic. Yeah. Like that's basic because the pants are 120 bucks, but it's basic. I mean, it's just for hot girls to work out in. Have you heard of Marnie before? No, Marnie. I don't is know. That, is that oh, a brand? Oh, no caller ID. Maybe this is Chaz Palmentier. Oh, no. Oh, Chaz, he'll say something crazy. This is, hey, babe. Uh, if we were on the Chrissy Chaos Patreon, yeah. No, it's M-A-R-N-I. M-A-R-N-I. Um, and then the other one they had me in was Kenzo. Kenzo I've heard of. Yeah. Marnie, look, two thousand four hundred fifty dollar reversible shirt. She's fire. No, it's reversible, so it's like two shirts. It's got the fringe. It's yeah, yo, look at that. Would you buy that? Would you? Could yeah. you see me in that for real? I could see you in that. Yeah. Yeah, they got a two hundred dollar ashtray. All right, this is ridiculous. I mean, you never been a real rich people. This is nothing. This is nothing. And the Hamptons, they'd be wearing like four thousand dollar shoes. I will say one thing about. More expensive clothing because I have my little Y3 pants right now. Even though my body, because I have a certain type of body type, it they the clothes fit me. Like the more expensive the clothes, like it fits, like it fits your body right. So there is something to that where like yeah. you buy cheaper stuff, it just is baggy. Like everything fits my body. Like even the Marnie shirt, it's like tight to my arms. Like it hides everything. And I was like, and how? And it lasts longer. So that's an, it's an investment in your clothes. I do agree with like investing in your clothes and stuff. Like it's not going to rip that shirt. Like it's good ass material. It's a, yeah, I think. Do not gonna, dry it. Don't. Do not wash it here no. bring that to a dry cleaner correct yeah. okay and then maybe ask the dry cleaner how to handle it you know what's crazy you know what i just thought of i i have a a, a michael kors jacket that i brought to the dry cleaner in december it's march do they are they gonna have it or is it gone oh my god i hope there's how just have a they kid not that, called you i hope there's just a kid they must not have my phone number where or they have the wrong number which dry cleaner in like in brooklyn no in staten island oh. <laughs> We should call Well, them. they have... I don't even remember where it was. We should it's go there gone. now. I don't have the ticket. It's gone. No. We should go there. I love there. that coat. <laughs> I love it, you but never I bought, forgot it. You never bought designer clothes as a basketball player? No. No. Never, dude. I used to wear my basketball warm-ups, like, out. I never... And it's not like I think, oh, I I just don't even know what to buy, what to do. Like, like if you ask me... I've been in New York City my whole life. If you ask me where's, like, a good clo store to get clothes in New York City, I'd be like... The Adidas store? I don't know. I would. I have. Have no, you ever been to a designer clothing store and shopped? I don't, I don't even know what a designer. Oh, what so is he, funny. What is an example of a designer clothes store in New York City? Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Like, where are they? All over the city. You just have to look for them. Like, would you go like down Broadway, like by Soho? Is that where like all those? Soho has a lot of. Sh yeah, Soho's packed with it. The only thing I've ever went into is a fry boot store, and I bought fry boots. Where are those boots? That was a good phase. Those are up in my... What, no, when was the last time you really wore them? Yo, I didn't think I wore those fry boots all winter. Yeah, you forgot it. I'll give the pandemic. Like, yeah, I forgot. Favor. Like, I forgot all that stuff. I can't believe I forgot my jacket. So when you go clothes shopping, what's your objective? 
I go to H and M and I just ask if they have double XLs and thirty eights. Thirty eight. I mean, I've seen the things that you've picked. They look great, except for that striped shirt. But everything else looks amazing. Wait, what striped shirt? The one you wore. Oh on yeah, the yeah, the Freddy Krueger sweater. Yeah, sorry. No, no, don't say sorry. It's your style. You're but Zara yourself. is going to be my new look. I'm going to compromise with Zara. Zara, I was told by V, I was told by other fashionistas that Zara is the next level up from H&M. I've graduated from Zara. So we're going to do Zara now. I love Zara. Let's okay. go to Zara now, guys. Let's go to Zara. And are you still moisturizing? Yes, I'm still moisturizing. Okay. And because I stayed at the Soho house, which I got um, a free membership for from doing a corporate gig, just in case Joe Rogan's listening, is I <laughs> is they have the, they they had a bag on my bed on if you stay at the Soho house, the one I stayed in Austin is called Soho Skin, and they gave me more moisturizers and creams and a little for the I've been traveling nonstop for five years. This is the first time where I have an airport. I have a little zip bag for all my toiletries. I used to just throw them in my bag and have to find them. There'd always be toothpaste or deodorant on a shirt because I just would throw it in there like an idiot. But now I have an actual bag that they gave me. So the Soho House, thank you. Your member, yearly membership was worth the airport bag you gave me. You really do move around like the Tasmanian devil. I know, dude. I got to be better. <laughs> all right. Listen, well, we got to, I got to go eat a sandwich. Yeah, well, let's go back to Joe DeRosa. Ugh. How do you get to that level of fame, whether it's in entertainment or politics, which is which is one and the same, right, folks? The <laughs> but how do you get to, how do you get to that level without being a sociopath? Yeah, I don't know. You can't. It's insane. You can't. It's insane. It's saying I deserve this. I deserve to be watched in every household around the globe. But you don't. I think- deserve to be the president of the United States. It's psychotic. It's, it's a, uh, well, a lot of that level starts to get ego driven, like in, like in the wrong, in a bad way. No. I think it can. I think best case scenario is this. What? What are you? What are you laughing at? <laughs> no, I just. It's so funny. You amuse me. Why? What did I do? Nothing. I, I like hearing your rant. What, sit down at a mason jar. I don't jar? necessarily. What? What's in the giant mason jar? <laughs> yeah. It I just. Did. It was. Uh, that was also a funny. Like, we paused and just listened to you slurp through the ice for a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> you ever do that on stage? You take a sip at the wrong moment. You're just like, fuck, man. I timed this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's done laughing, and you just you just pick it up, yeah, and they're yeah. done laughing, and then you just like go 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 go. And you're like, all right. I pick my drink up and put it down without sipping it so frequently on stage because you because like, of the timing. It's mm-hmm. like double dutch when mm-hmm. you're gonna take a sip on stage. <laughs> yeah, it is. You just like should I do it? Should I, do it? Yeah, yeah. I pick it up, I go right back, I put it back down. The uh, but no, I'm saying like the the the. I think the best case scenario is this: you are self centered enough to think you deserve this. And as you go, like Pim said, let more and more yes people get around you and, and less people are saying no. Right. And then that can barrel out of control. But it is never not starting from a place of, e- of vast ego, like vast mm-hmm. ego. These are, not, these are not people that go home and go, these are not people that process the, the dark thoughts in, in, a, in, in a healthy way. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you can process the dark thoughts in a bad way. You can process the dark thoughts by beating yourself up and stunting your own success. Trust me, I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but this, this is, they, they go, they sow the opposite direction where it's just like, you know, it, like, I don't know. I find it fascinating. You know, who do you know that's a sociopath that's not famous? I can't name, they can't name names. Well, this is it. Name names. You know a lot, buddy. This is it. This is it. We know a lot. <laughs> <laughs> just put those little bars over our mouths and we'll just talk for you. <laughs> now, um, it's we we know so many. We know so many. Yeah. I know so many people that yeah. have something really wrong with them. A new poll yeah. is out that says one in a hundred people are a sociopath. Ooh, that's a lot. <sighs> new York is just ground zero. Sociopaths back. everywhere. Yeah. Damn. I mean, it's, I mean, look, we all have a degree of it, right? Do we though? We all have a. In, in you think you're you, you the think, entertainment business? We all have it some degree of it. I don't know if I, I wouldn't know if I would call myself a sociopath. Maybe I'm not using the correct term. My, but my point is, is we have some sort of ego complex. Well, I don't even. Th- I think it's over. I think it's everyone because of social media. That too. Oh, yeah. that's that's what's causing it. That's insane. That too. But I just was on vacation and I watched. I was sitting in the ocean, and I watched these three girls and. For I watched him for two hours straight go along the beach to different spots and all do a photo shoot for each other. It, it took two hours, the middle of the day, blazing sun, and they were just 
changing their positions, make it, like this whole thing where they're not looking at the camera, but they're like looking down at the sand, like and they're like going like that or they're going like that. And I'm just like, and there's all people around and they're just doing it right in front of them. Like there's not even any shame in it. I, th I think and we need just, to bring back self hatred. Full, full yeah. photo shoots, <laughs> and then the, when one, one was done, the other one would go, and then the one girl, the third girl, didn't go at all. I think she was like the lackey. You know, I think like the other girl was like an influencer or something, or they she she was rich and she brought the other two girls. Her parents paid for it. They were like, and it just was like the one girl was just her job was to photograph the other girl. But I enjoy that girl. That's the person I enjoy. <laughs> the that. one who photographs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just like, I can't believe this. I watched them. Then I watch them there. Then I watch them down the beach there. Then I watch them over there. And I just was like, I can't believe they're spending the day. Doing the same it's shots nuts. over and over and it's over. It's nuts, dude. It's nuts. I feel weird putting a picture of myself online. I do it once in a while, the, uh, but it's never serious. Have you ever met someone? Because I've been meeting new people, and they're like talking down to me because they're TikTok famous, but they don't know who I am. They're just acting famous, and they have like maybe 100,000 robots. Dude, we robots. are headed. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> TikTok is fairly easy to get. A most of it's spam for yeah. the most part. This is we we're, we're, I, I realize you know what I would day, love I would love to see a, I would love to see a Joe DeRosa TikTok page. Never going to happen. I mean I have an account. I think I have 6 followers. Yeah. I don't do it. But I would love to see you do like the TikTok stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right? <laughs> I think it would become very famous because you're so not that. <laughs> but 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 it wouldn't become famous cuz I'm not I wouldn't be committing to it. Mm -hmm. And then there's no joke. No, you need to go. The like joke is me ugly. doing it begrudgingly. Yeah, I don't know. I have one too. I never I'll do it. I, I don't. Shit. I don't. I don't. That's not how I want to communicate to people. It's not. I so don't, I, I was like, I should do it because if I'm actually on it and people think it's me engaging, I could build up the numbers and have another outlet for a social platform for things. But it's like I can't bring myself to. I got nothing to say. It's weird. You know, it's to just them. a weird. I don't understand it. Um, I, I should right. I, I should look, do it. I get, should, yeah, should, should, could, would, whatever. You know. But what do I got to do? Reaction videos, like you react to the videos. Like but you so it's that's wild that yeah. people want to see me react to another video. Yep. So you do a duet. I thought a duet was to like, is a duet to react? So you could it's picture in picture or whatever. So you have one playing and then you react into it, and then people watch you reacting to other people. Yeah, they want uh, definitely from you. They would. Want Are to you see serious? It. What the fuck's the big deal? So what about yes. if I react to people's reaction 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 videos? Do people do that? There you go. Do people do that? It just know. seems like what what are we doing? Like there should be other things to focus on besides watching people react to other people's people things. People don't understand people I realized this the other day. We're living in a bridge generation right now. All right? Are we it sounds like we're like on, the, is, on get off my lawn right no, now. No, it's not though. Night is darkest before the dawn. We're in the dark right now. This is we're we're teetering on whatever the next phase of of reality and accepted reality and 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 known reality is. We're not there yet. This is the part where everything is real wonky and real ugly before it happens. This is pre. This is ten years, twenty years, whatever before the industrial revolution. Shit is crazy. It's it's gangs in New York. Like what the fuck is going on out here? When do you think that's gonna that dam's gonna break? I think in about 20 to 50 years from now, we're going to see a real change where people are finally coming into their own. And, and you know, you're not seeing this ev evolution of, 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 of the generations that are trying to accept it and exploit it. You know, this TikTok thing, all of this shit, social media, all of it, it, it will burn out and eventually evolve into what it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Which is? A maggot is a maggot, and then it turns into a butterfly or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> or a worm. What, what becomes a butterfly? A caterpillar? Yeah. Yeah, disgusting. A disgusting fucking caterpillar becomes a beautiful butterfly. Right now, we're the disgusting caterpillar. All right? And everything every, you see everybody doing with all this wonderful technology that, that could be doing so much good for the world and it's being just used for self-indulgence and vanity and all these other things. Primarily, there is good stuff out there, but you have to really dig for it. That's the caterpillar. It's going to be, it's going to go into a cocoon and become a butterfly, but we're not in the cocoon yet. We're just not. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's so serious talking about it. It's just so funny to me. Does it ever get serious like this on this show? Not really. 
Well, I, but we did we did launch into like stuff that I don't really talk. I never really talk about like pop culture per se. I, you guys know that your internet provider like Verizon Spectrum can keep logs of your internet activity. That includes stuff like the sites you visited, how much time you spent on them, and even worse, the gov can get them to cough up this information whenever they want. But when you buy ExpressVPN, which I've been using for years now, your internet activity is shielded. Their app works by rerouting 100% of your network data through their secure encrypted servers to keep your private, uh, your privacy and uh, active. So here's the thing. I use it on my phone, and I use it on my laptop and my work laptop. I just got it. It's there. It runs in the background. You could disable it by hitting a button. It's just red and green. It's super simple. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I like knowing that I have it. You, you use one pimp VPN? Yeah, yeah, ExpressVPN. You do? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I once I had it, like before I had it, after I had it, I do feel like oh, I could rest a little easier. I just don't want people mining all that stuff for me at all. Oh, yeah, it's happening too. Mm. Unlike the kill switch the government wants to put in all of our cars, which I don't know what that is. <laughs> Because I'm not researched there, but this is what ExpressVPN is telling me. ExpressVPN's kill switch actually protects you. If your VPN connection ever drops, network data is immediately stopped from entering or leaving your device. That's true. I even get the little, the little uh, notification when that happens. All it takes is one easy tap of a button for ExpressVPN to secure all your online devices or all of your devices in general. So stop letting the government spy on you. Take back your privacy and freedom at expressvpn.com slash heybabe and get three Three months, three extra months free. That's Express VPN. That's E X P R E S S V P N dot com slash Hey Babe. Express VPN dot com slash Hey Babe. Guys, let's talk current. Chrissy uses it. He loves it. Um, it's basically an, an app he uses. It's got a real, it's easy to use. It's intuitive. He uses it to track his spending and, uh, and, and actually for faster direct deposit. Uh, he's been loving it. Current is is basically they they are the future of banking, banking babes. Current's mobile app and connected debit card help you get ahead by giving you faster access to your paychecks, fewer fees, more flexibility. Benefits include uh, things like creating savings goals. Um, so like if you're someone who is bad with managing your money, they can help you understand how you can save. Uh, there are no withdrawal fees in over 40,000 in network ATMs. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and yeah, you earn points, you can earn points and you can cash back rewards like every other card. So that's cool. They do that. Current just launched a newest feature. Current members are now able to earn four percent annual percentage yield APY on savings okay 60 times the on savings pods that's 60 times the nat national average yeah my savings accounts like 0 0.001 it's ridiculous any member who signs up for a current personal account can start earning the that APY daily by adding money to the savings pod and enabling the interest feature that's it members can seamlessly transfer money between savings pods and their spending balance there are no lockout periods and there are no fees for the feature or balance minimum requirements to access so that is just ready to go. Uh, for a limited time, we've partnered with Current to give away a thousand bucks. That's right. Current is going to give away two hundred and fifty bucks to four different listeners of Hey Babe. All you have to do is download the Current app at current.com/slash Hey Babe. Remember, that's current.com/slash Hey Babe. The giveaway closes April twentieth, so don't wait. Uh, download the Current app and be entered to win at current.com/slash Hey Babe. There's no purchase necessary to win. Purchase won't increase the chances of winning. Void where prohibited. Eligible eligibility restrictions apply visit current.com slash hey babe for full terms and conditions m i gotta read this part guys so brace but i'm a, i'm gonna read it a little quick current is a financial technology company not a bank banking services provided by uh visa debit card issued by choice financial group member fdic pursuant to a license from visa usa inc and can be used everywhere visa debit cards are accepted the annual percentage yield apy for current interest is variable and may change at any time the disclosed apy is effective as of january 1 2022 no minimum balance is required must have at least 0 0.01 cent in savings pods to earn current interest uh on up to $2,000 in deposits per savings pot, up to $6,000 total. Please refer to current interest terms and conditions. 60 times rate calculated using the FDIC na average national deposit rate for savings accounts of 0 0.06. What are you most ashamed about crying over? I, I well up at a lot of stuff. A lot of ashamed stuff. But the most, of the most ashamed I was was when I took my parents to see Rise of Skywalker, and it was the second time I saw it, and I was hiding my <laughs> tears throughout the movie. <laughs> 
Are you serious? Dead serious. Wow. When Lando showed well, up. Well, he answered with, your question. When Lando showed up with the Millennium Falcon, I was crying like a fucking baby. <laughs> I, 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 I had to hide it from my parents. <laughs> I was sitting in between my parents. It was I, would cry, I could cry at any show. Any, I cry at commercials. But there's not been one where you're, sh- you're like, I'm so glad no one's seeing this. No, it's. I mean, it's got to be. I cry often. I cry often. It's got to be. I, I'm ashamed. Like, I, I don't want to see. I don't know. I don't know. I was sobbing one time in a, in a sad movie like 20 years ago. It's probably terrible now. It's already not that bad. But I was so sad. I was crying at this part. And I, there was only like six people in the theater. And then somebody laughed at what happened. Someone was getting hung in the in the in the movie, and uh, and and I was like, and and the guy was there, and he was in like the town square. It wasn't like old times. It was like someone that they went abroad, and there was these strict rules, and then and, and the government threw them in jail, and they, they would they were trying to get lawyers to get them out for years and all that stuff, and then they they were gonna hang them, and the, there was someone there, like he, there's no doubt he was getting hung, and so they were there, and they were like looking at him through the through the square, and they were like. St- like kind of connecting with him and be like, I'm right here. I'm right here for you. And like the guy knew he was about to get hung and they were just like trying to comfort him in that moment, like screaming to him from far away to like, just stay here with us. And I was crying. What I was movie like, is this? I forgot the name of it. It's like Joaquin Phoenix. I think he gets hung. Is it a cowboy movie? I don't know. No, 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 no. I, it probably isn't sad now. I think it was like Vince Vaughn. Speaking of Ellen, I think Anne Heche was in it. Isn't Anne Heche or what, his or her wife? No, her old wife. No, her old old, old girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're talking about you're talking about the movie where they go to like they're like backpacking. Yeah, and they leave the weed, and then the guy gets yes. caught, and they have to go back and fight. It's called like just, Welcome to Paradise, or something, something like that. that. I just remember in that moment, I was like, "Oh my god, this is so sad," and someone laughed, and I was like, "What a piece of shit!" But yeah. I also will cry at like you know that show with like move the bus, and the bus drives away, and like the homeless family has a new house. It was behind the bus the whole time. What? Yeah. <laughs> you know what, what I'm talking about? Show? With the guy with the tan. He's got a crazy tan. He's the host. He's like this guy with like spiky hair. It used to be a big show. And they were like, oh, you know, this family, you know, they're down on their luck. And the kid, the five kids sleep in the same room. And they always wish they had a solarium. Sur- oh, they buy the house for the homeless people. And then the people. bus moves and the whole family. The whole I name- thought you meant the bus move to reveal a homeless family living on the sidewalk. <laughs> no. That's what I thought you meant. No. Right. You know, like, you know, extreme right. makeover. That's yeah. it. That'll yeah. get me. Yeah, they stopped it. Yeah, Ty, that's it. Hey, I used to cry my ass off at that. Have you guys ever cried in the streets? Oh, like, yeah. yeah. The streets? What gets you in the streets? Oh, anything can get me in the streets. I somebody mean, let's go, talk about somebody in the go pass by in a car with the song on. <laughs> someone go pass by what? I said, let's talk about it in the sheets. <laughs> someone go pass by in a car with a song on. The song will make me tear up. I cried uh, in the... I was at South by Southwest last week, and I saw a preview of the Kids in the Hall documentary, and I wept like a baby at one part in that. Like, like a baby. <laughs> no, wow. it's, it's truly like... T- t- I actually it's can't a read devastatingly it. emotional. Every day moment. when I wake up and I look at all the alerts for my news alerts, like half of them make me want to fucking get be so depressed. It's like you can't wake up to this. Like I look at the news like when I wake up and usually like when I'm going to bed, it's like the wrong time to look at the news. The uh, Just, I mean, you're starting your day off with tragedy after tragedy and going to bed with it. It's I don't, like, I don't that's even why I want to disconnect from that shit, but it's hard because it. you also want to be you know up to date with shit. Let me let me take move to change the topic. Why? I'm enjoying this. Okay. I like talking about stuff like this. You do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. It's your show. No, it's not my show. It's our show. No, it's your show. It's not. I don't own a piece of this show. You do. Own. <laughs> this is your Today, it's our show. <laughs> okay. That's very nice of you. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> did I ever tell you the story about when... I got, um, accidentally, I got mail delivered to my house that wasn't mine. I did it on This Is Not Happening on Ari's show. I think so. I got I got this package. It was from Ann Taylor Loft, which is like a women's clothing store. Right. It was like this. And, so uh, nothing strange yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it had the, a woman's name on it, and it had my address, but... The woman didn't live in my home, right? So I was like, "Oh, this is messed up. I got to give this to back to the uh, to the the what? What's man? Postman. Post. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, sometimes I actually, you know, I don't know what's happening. I thought I did something that you thought. No. So to Sorry. the po- to, to, to the post, right? to the postal worker, the postman is fine. post the post yeah, person. The post, the post you person. should say 
the point. Because why so gender it? I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it back to him, right? Uh, two weeks passed by, and I didn't do it. And then a snow, we had a huge snowstorm, and I was in the house for like three days, and I was a little stir crazy. And so I was like, I'm gonna open these, open this, and see what it is. I have an idea. I'll open it. If there's a receipt in there, sometimes there's a packing slip with the person's email or phone number in there. Mm -hmm. So I opened it, and it was a pair of pants, women's pants. It was, it was size six, satin black pants. I love women's, what I'm here. women's dress pants and it had the woman's name in it and it had her email address so i was like i'm gonna email her right now and tell her i have her pants okay but then i was like kind of like just stir crazy and i was like you know what how funny would it be if i wrote her a ransom note for her pants instead <laughs> They're just a like, pair of pants. Sounds like a terrible idea. They're just a pair of pants, <laughs> right? So yeah. I was like, that'll be funny. So I got all my magazines, and I it took me a little over five hours, mm -hmm. and I cut the letters, and I taped them. It was like a 20-page ransom note. I was loopy, and I wrote like... I have your pants. If you ever want to see them again, you'll listen to what I have to tell you. Uh, you will you will meet me here. It's like a terrible idea, so I know. <laughs> At the time, I didn't have anyone to... My friend just was like, this is great. And I did it, and I was like, you have to bring me uh, in an unmarked duffel bag. You have to bring me this honey peanut butter, Skippy honey peanut butter. I was just Look making a joke. Uh, there's so much on the screen I want to refer to right now. Go ahead. Do sorry. you not want me to finish my, no, my no, story? I'm sorry. I got distracted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just saw something that referred back to what we were just talking about, though. So I Go wrote ahead. the whole ransom note. No joke. It's about 20 pages. I scanned it. Mm -hmm. And I put it in the email and I just sent the email and, I, and they put in the subject line, I have your pants. <laughs> and then she got the ransom note. I, I went to bed. I didn't think anything of it. The next morning I woke up, she had written to me and she was like actually furious. She was like, who are you? What is this? Who, why would you even write me this? This is out of line. I don't yep. know who you think you are. Yep. I'm, I'm going to hundred percent. Right. I'm going to call. <laughs> I'm going to forward this to the cops. I'm going to call the authorities. I think yep. she might have even said the FBI. And she's like, this is harassment. And just send me my fucking pants and all that other stuff. And, I was like, oh, my God, I wasn't expecting her to come in hot like that. And so I was just like, what do I do? And so I, <laughs> I, I just wrote back, do you think I'm playing games? Oh, come on. Uh, and what then, is the matter with and you? Then I, and then I did a photo shoot in her pants. And I, I put her pants on. I got, I got, I, I, it took me about three minutes, but I slowly got into the size six pants and I zipped them up and I was, and the, they came up to like here on me and they were super tight and I was going to take photos, but I was bare chested and I was like, this is going to, this might look weird. So I put on a suit, but I used her pants. So I put on a tie, a jacket and I put on a suit and I was like, all right, now I'm going to take pictures in my pants. I'm going to send it with the email that says, you think I'm playing games with you? Right? And I was like, wait, my face is in this. So I put on a ski mask. Did you have the TV show at this point, by the way? Yes. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. So I put, on, I put on a ski mask, okay? I put on a ski mask, and I take photos of myself in the suit with her pants on, and I send that in the email, okay? And she doesn't write back. Oh, damn, really? Okay? okay. Yeah. Uh, a, a couple of days later, I get a text from my landlord who lives downstairs. And he says, just, hey, buddy, uh, any chance, did you get a, a package delivered at any point uh, to you? It should have come downstairs. It was for my girlfriend. So I know his name. That's not her name. That's why it didn't resonate with me. And he goes, it's, it's for my girlfriend. They were pants. And it was my fucking landlord's girlfriend who I wrote a ransom note to, who I told her, you think I'm playing games? And I harassed her, and she threatened me with the FBI. So I was like, oh, my God. I actually have the pants. Can you meet me outside? I have a funny story to tell you. Like just hoping like it's not going to be like he's not going to evict me. And then I went outside and I'm like, here's the pants. And he's like, thank you so much. And I was like, but also I was like, I got to tell you something. I thought it would be funny uh, last <laughs> week to... I opened the pants up to see who they would belong to. I didn't recognize the name. I put them on. I did a photo shoot in them, and I wrote a ransom note, and I sent them in an email to whoever this is addressed to, which happens to be a girlfriend. And he goes, what? And I was like, yeah, I did all that. I was like, I just thought it would be funny. And he was like, okay. And I was like, so how do you want to handle this? <laughs> I was like, you know, like, you got to tell her that I'm sorry and all that stuff. And he's like, uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll just tell her then. So I was like, all right. And then he left. And then like 
I didn't see her for a real long time. I never met her before. And then one day, like a long time, like not long after that, like months, I forget what it was. I was walking out of my front door and it was in a house. She lived downstairs and she was walking up the driveway. And I knew it was her because for reasons I won't say, but I knew that it was her. And like, we kind of stopped and she was like, are you the guy that had my pants? Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. And then, and then I, and I just said to her, I never got that peanut butter. <laughs> And she didn't really laugh, and then she went inside, and it was a mortifying story, and I did it on This Is Not Happening. Yeah, you did it here, too, just now. It's all true. Yeah. <laughs> my point you is- did the whole thing just now. My point is- We could have watched the clip. Just now. <laughs> yeah. I got a package delivered to a place that is supposed to be uh, about- It's It's- not my address, but it's the right block, but it's not my address. And it was delivered in January 15th. And I didn't know what it was. I opened it up. It is a pair of women's pants. <laughs> this is that where I lived before is another house. This is not her pants. It's a pair of fucking women's pants. And it is the same thing is happening to me all over again. It is red leather pants. Mm hmm. From whatever that company is. Blue Revival. It's like maroon leather women's pants. Nice. Again, what are the odds that I got women's pants sent to my house again? What do you think the universe is telling you? Well, this happened. This ha this happened. <laughs> this happened in like 2000, I don't know, like 15 or something. And I kind of think I should do it to this woman too. So... I, I think the universe is telling me I, that I, I'm going to have a whole addition to this story and it's going to become I, a I new thing. I have a different take on it that I don't want to say to you because I'm afraid it's going to freak you out. Why? I think somebody sent you these pants because they saw that this is not happening. No, no, they didn't send it to me. This is someone else's address. They I got I, they got erroneously delivered to my oh, address. Oh, okay. That, so it's not your address with a different name. It is not my address with I a see. different name. This one has actually got delivered wrong. But it's, it's, okay. for, it's, for, it's for a house uh, close by. Well, the last time you did it, did you have a good year after? A good year? Yeah. Mm. Was it good luck, you think? I don't think I had a good year. Mm. It wasn't a bad year. But... What I'm saying is I didn't open these yet, but I want to open them, and I might want to get into them. And I might want to write this woman another don't, ransom. So, don't just let it go. This, what's the <laughs> size? Do that. What's the size 24? It's oh, too small. Is it European? Yeah. It's small? That's really small? How's a size 24 small? A size 24 in men's is tiny. What are you talking about? Pants? A pant? I a like 24 a, waist? Oh, it's a 24 waist? I thought women's, I thought women's pants were like... I don't know. Don't, know, don't, don't. Leave it alone. Well, I, I Just send it to the address. But I do think it's telling me that I need to... You so, don't, don't I do that. I think the universe is telling me that I need to try these so on. Don't, it's a size zero in women. It is? So I'll never Wait, get into it. Just them. open it and see what it is on your neck. That's how you always can check. Yeah, really? If you don't. put it around your neck... Don't then that's it. how you Why? measure. Just send it to the person. But I'm not doing anything to it. I'm just going to look at them. Joe respects the mail. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I know. You're literally creating all this. No, you know that's true, though, right? No, because it doesn't have a name on it. So I but don't it know. has an address on it. So send it to the address it belongs to. Yeah, but I can't make out what that says. So uh, I, it's cut off. So I, I opened it for the same reason I opened the other one. I was looking for a, a, an actual yeah, name. Oh, sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe, listen to me. Do you want your friend to get arrested? I'm not the only one that knows the law. They all know the law. But too. you don't need to tell them the law. They know the law. But you don't need to. You don't <laughs> need to like. Doing? You have to put it out what there. What are you doing? You're get risking arrested. it all for a pants prank. This doesn't make any sense. Oh, so this is it. Oh, that's wow, I like them. Those are fun. I like them. What do you think? I mean, I that's a weird them. fit. <laughs> that looks like these look like pants that would go on a pony. <laughs> <laughs> Small horse. Yeah, like a little. So, I, I, I guess I can't get into them unless I cut them and I modify them, Correct. and then I get into them, or I put like one leg in, yeah. or I just. Or I so just, like, you're talking to them. Mike. Talking to Mike. <laughs> or I just like hold them. I get. Take a picture of someone look at the them. size of those. <laughs> look at the size of those. And he, and he goes, "I guess I can't get into them." I guess. Yeah. Do you guess? Can you get into your them? arm? Couldn't fit in those. My point is, 
is, is that I think the universe is telling me that I need to follow up with a ransom note on these. So there's so many need you to tell our so listeners many, that I'm going to go to jail. I'm committing. Let me a- dissect everything insane about what you just said in one sentence. First of all, let's start with the universe is telling me. The universe isn't <laughs> telling you anything. All right, the universe doesn't care about what you're doing. All right, I think the, the universe, universe is, is telling me that I need to, not that I should, not that it might be funny, that I need to. Meaning life or death, food and water, medicine, sunshine. I need to, right? Last part of the sentence. Send another, another <laughs> ransom note. Listen to yourself. I know that it sounds like, you know, didn't we just, didn't you just say I want 100 people's associate? Yes. <laughs> and I said everybody in entertainment to a degree is associate. And, and I'm like, like not, not I, French fry. Yeah. No, but I just, I, I, Sounds you like got, fun. Thank you. It's not, do you guys think? Do you guys think so the way to live life is to send another ransom note for these leather pants? I thought you were punk rock, the Rosa. Isn't that the way to live life? He almost He's got arrested. <laughs> he almost got arrested when she didn't know who he was. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you mean? I can't even believe you're considering this right now. Because I'm sorry, but I'm a By comedian. The way, how are you going to get her a ransom note? What do you mean? How am I going to get it? How are you going to get the ransom note to her? I'm going to put it in the mailbox. I thought you didn't have the whole address. I thought it wasn't on the, the mail. I'm going to have to put in a few mailboxes. Yeah, really? Because the number gets... Because if you have the full address, you just committed a felony. I didn't. I'm telling the you. Number, the, numbers, yes, you the number gets cut off, so like well, I can imagine on the block it then is. Then where would you put the ran- ransom note? I put them in all the mailboxes. Oh, this this idea. Gets, really, it's a way for me to get them to her because I don't know whose they are. Oh, so if she, God. if the person writes back to me or emails me back, which I'll put in my email. Not address, even to mention. Oh, oh no, no, that she's not even going to know what pants you're talking about. For all you know, this lady orders ten pairs of pants a week. For all you know, she ordered. For all you know, she forgot she ordered these, and she thinks you're talking about her pants that she already wears. This sounds psychotic. No, I will name the pants. I will say the maroon leather pants from Blue Envy or whatever the hell they're from. Here's what happened last time. I actually forgot to tell you. You. He told me, he goes, she's freaking out. And I didn't realize I emailed her from my email address when I sent this ransom note. Yeah. So it was my freaking email address. And there so I that's say, why I was like, I have to cop to it because I could lie to him. But if I lie to him and my name came through with, because the address isn't my name, but if my name came through with that address, I was going to be, that would look very bad. So I had to be like, oh, laugh with me about this. But then nobody laughed. <laughs> but it was a great bit. <laughs> you understand? But then the world laughed subsequently. So I think that this I don't is... Know. Let's pull the clip up and see if, <laughs> if the world laughed. Let's see how well the bit did. <laughs> this is, the bit did fine. Before we start, well, fine is not the world laughed. The bit did well. Well? The well, bit fine? did well. Well? Or fine? Well. Great? Did it do great? Very good. Very good? Yeah, I did would say... Did it kill? Then you're out, dude. That's, kill? That's, but very good is not good. Rest over a bit that's not even going to kill. Very good is not good. I, I I wouldn't be thinking of committing a crime unless they it was led the kill. episode off with it. Well, it's because you were first in the lineup. No, he chooses it's a la carte. Huh? He chooses how he also wants to too. You you put the weaker stuff up front. You don't close with the biggest. <laughs> no, actually you're wrong. <laughs> actually you're wrong. You lead with the best stuff because you want a retention. Uh, Believe me, I've been on the air 10 years, buddy. Oh, wow. Hey. I had to give it to him because he says I'm that guy and I'm not. So now I'm serving you up what you always say I am. I don't I'm becoming think, the monster you're creating. I don't think it's a good idea that you drive to a street in Staten Island or God knows wherever the hell that's from and leave a ransom note in 10 different mailboxes because you think one day it might be a funny bit on a TV show that doesn't even exist anymore. No, I mean a bit on stage for stage. I'll film it, Sal. Let's go do it. I, I honestly, but I believe you guys <laughs> believe he's not living life to the fullest. I live life, life to the fullest. I live life, babe. I live life. <laughs> you don't, and you don't want to do this. This is an adventure. You got no idea what I'm doing. This in is my the off-time. universe telling me to go on an adventure. Okay, Knock you, you follow. Out. You follow the ripple. Knock yourself out. I have something to tell you though. Out of everybody I know, who could be a criminal, next to Chris Stefano, <laughs> you would be the worst at it. Wow. Why? You have OCD. You have ADHD. <laughs> Continue. You worry about everything. I just, this is a massage. anxiety. This is an eye massage. These are not the traits of a criminal. Okay? Chris, just dumb. Just real dumb. <laughs> All right? He'd be the worst at it. 
But you would not be a good criminal. But I, I'm not. But I'm not going to be a criminal. So was it? Matter? You already are, my friend. I'm not. You opened mail that did not belong no, to you. No, on no, 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 no. It is unidentifiable mail that I want to return to the right party, and I opened up for the same reason I did last time to find if yeah. there was say contact that, say information. Send it to the judge. Yeah, Your Honor, I was just trying to return. Are the you going to turn me in in the zaniest way possible? <laughs> say that to the judge. <laughs> See how you know, the judge will go. Oh, I'm, 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 like, are you going to turn me in? I listen. I'm not going to turn you in, but if they come to me, I'll throw you under the bus. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I would love to see a, a season of Jokers from prison. Season of Jokers. I'm going to get him out so I double my chances of becoming oh, one of the good. Jokers. <laughs> <laughs> These we, uh, Jokers, Jokers going to be me and Q sitting in a room soon. We get asked to come to. <laughs> we get asked to come to prisons. Huh? We get asked to come to prisons quite often. To go to prison? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, great. The, the show, already, the show plays, there. the marathons play all day. You're you know, to be there. Like, you and Merck can talk through eight inches of glass. <laughs> <laughs> Try to pull the pranks off that. It ain't going to be easy. Buddy. I want to see how this ends up netting out because I'm going to do it. Yes. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to see if I end up in jail or if I end up with a great bit. What are you saying right now? <laughs> I'm going to write a ransom note to this woman for her leather pants, and I hope that I hope that, I hope that she enjoys life as well. So... Let me tell you something. Do you think I could really get in the trouble? Two of us, Can you imagine? I because if I put between it, the two of us, let me tell you this: between the two of us, we both drink. between the two of us, we both drink. we're on a podcast that's going to get hundreds of thousands of <laughs> listens. Listen, but between the two of us, no, I'm saying I'm saying between the two of us, not privately. I'm saying between you and I and our sure. lifestyles, we both drink. I drink. I drink. <laughs> listen to me. Just listen to what I'm going to tell you right now. We both drink. I drink much more than you do. Okay. Okay. We both do drugs. I sometimes do the hard ones. This is a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should be the guy that you're convincing this is not a good idea. I'm convincing you so as the bigger does, degenerate between the two of us, this is not a good how idea. Does this go this how does, how does it go south? How does it go south? I put I put it in a bunch of people's mailboxes. How does it's it go this, south? It's this, how doesn't it go south? It's discarded. The first time I almost sent you away. <laughs> the, no, it's, it's discarded. It's discarded by anyone who doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. The person who's rightfully belongs to is going to take it and they're going to go, well... I could either report this person to the police, or clearly it's it's fun, it's tongue in cheek. They they write me a ransom note for my leather pants, and I will I will oblige and I will write back to the email and let's play a little game of cat. The crime notes. of receiving or transmitting <laughs> ransom is punishable oh, up to ten years in prison. <laughs> Listen to yourself, Pip. Look up how illegal it is to open somebody else's mail. I'm no, just curious. No, no, no. That's I'm not just what I did, though. That, that that either goes in the trash. Huh? There's no name or, and the dress is cut off. Hold on a second. There's no name. It's Hold not illegal. Second. It is a federal crime to open or destroy mail that is not intended for you. The law provides you cannot destroy, destroy, hide, open, or embezzle mail that is not addressed to you. What is the punishment for it? What is the punishment? For? I'm just curious. Well, here's the thing. What's the punishment Wait. for? It? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see what the punishment is. What is the federal law for opening uh, five years in prison? <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. Now's the time. Now's or the time. And or fine. Now's the time. Peak, no, no, no. Peak of your success. No, no, but, Let's but, do but, this but prank I, now. I, but your honor, I argue that. Actually, there is not a name or a clear address on this. It still doesn't matter. It's not yours. You know it's but then not yours. But then where does it go? You give it back to the postman. But they, they will not. They, it's going to go in the garbage. It's not. The woman's either it. never getting her pants or she's getting them from me in a cutesy way. What's better? Let me, let me, hold on a second. I'm just trying to think of the, of the right way. It's to cute, babe. Phrase this. Uh, okay. Look, what if, if this you, woman's like... You know how it's a crime? What okay, if I meet, this is what this is. What this if is I meet the love is. of my life through it's this? It's illegal. It's illegal. <laughs> Hold on. It's illegal. You know it's illegal, right, to not help somebody in trouble, whatever. Like, if you know somebody is actually in danger, it's, a, it's like you have a legal obligation to notify an authority or whatever it is, right? Uh, I don't know that. Yeah, it's... Yeah. I think that's just a Seinfeld thing. I thought thing. it was a Seinfeld thing. No, no, no. But look, yeah. Common law in most states, people generally, oh, have no duty to, okay, I'm wrong about that. Okay. Well, I'll still use this as an example, even though it's not illegal. What you just said about, I'm going to give it to the postman and he's going to throw it away and she'll never get it or whatever. That's like saying like, 
Well, I would have gotten help as the man was being beaten, but he was going to be beaten to death anyway. So what good would the help no, have No, don't take, feel like it's don't like take sh- your horrific taste buds arguments and bring them over here. That <laughs> no, doesn't track. Saying, like, that I'm doesn't saying, track. Like, you, the postman very well may know, like, I know this address. I know the per. A lot of post people know their tenants or, or not tenants, cl- clients. What does a post person call his delivery people? His, his deliveries? I know my route. Like he, a lot of them, they know people on their route. He might know who that is. Like the name is not on there. I, I, I saw it so late. I saw it two months late. The sun and rain evaporated the tag. The, I don't know. I think, the- my point is, is you go. I did all I could within my power, which is to give the unmarked envelope back to the postman. Then she calls uh, Lane Bryant or wherever they came from and says, "Hey, I never got my pants." And they say, "Okay, we'll send you a new one." Hold on. Let me also say this. I didn't realize it was not mail for me. So when I, I mean, we just opened the pants out of the plastic bag. But when I opened the original bag, I opened it because I thought it was mine. And then I looked at it and said, what the fuck is this? And I looked at the address and it was faded out. And then I looked and it was red pants. And I was like, this is the universe telling me that I need to take this to the next level. Mm Mm-hmm. But well, we all saw under you know, the circumstances in which I opened it, I was not committing a crime. We all saw Nor you, is it we identifiable. All saw you on camera purposefully go further. We all saw it. No, we no, all no, saw no, it no. Here no, in the room. No, 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 no. no. Well, there, you know, there's three witnesses. This package was open because I thought it was no, my no, mail. No, but but had you said on camera, I accidentally opened this package because I thought it was for me and I made a mistake. I'm very sorry. I'm going to give it to the postman tomorrow. There'd be no issue here. You chose to go farther. You chose <laughs> to go farther and open it more and more. DeRose is trying to get you out of and the here way. here we are. Here we are. What are you doing? I'm trying to advise don't, you. Don't, you know what you're doing? You're trying to get your friend in trouble. From as soon as you, you guys saw it. When you went to open that bag, I was going, Sal, don't open it. Don't open it. Don't open it. I but kept saying The package that. is open, dude. The, man, the, the, the federal package is the outer You're layer. Right. Now, not the inner plastic I clear can't bag. wait to see this footage being played in a courtroom as he's going, I, it was just a joke. Can we go to exhibit B? The Pimp. package was open already. Pimp, I will, and then I said a rant. <laughs> I, will cut, I will cut up the ransom note for this woman. Okay. And I will make some copies of it, and I'll go and we'll put it in the mailboxes of the whole block because I don't know who it belongs I to. I want you to document this whole thing. <laughs> yes. And then we will wait. We will wait until we get... God forbid, though. God forbid I get a knock at the door and it's police, though. No shit, asshole. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you this whole time. Yeah, but I think that I could talk to the cops. Yeah, you totally could. I mean... I, but the truth that's, is, that's, that's the truth is on my when side. You, when, you, when the public sees that you got let off because you're a celebrity, <laughs> no, 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 it'll go. That's the, good. The publicity. truth is on my side, though. There I opened it because I thought it's it, not. You've done everything incorrect. No, I opened it because I thought it was <laughs> ma- mail for me. So, and now I'm trying to get the one back on pants. I'm just you're doing it. Trying I'm just to doing it in a way that's indicative you of know my how personality. Easy she can get her pants back. If how? You, if you give that to the postman and then she doesn't get her pants in a week and then she calls the company and says, She might have pants. them. This is from two months ago. Oh, wow. And that's why the that labels ain't, faded. That ain't boding well for you either, buddy. They've been sitting on this thing for they two They went months. to uh, I had my other apartment's address and they were sitting out They were sitting out there in the friggin' rain and sun. Said, look at the, Look. Look at it. Look. It's all faded. Those sat out in front of an apartment on the street in New York for uh, two months. A, in front of a house. In front of a house mm-hmm. for two months, nobody took it. No passersby. No, no, because it wasn't like that. Like the door is not on the curb of. A, oh, I see what yeah. you're saying. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, so like, do you want to like stand down now, bud? Are you going to call off a SWAT team on me? Knock yourself out. I'm not saying shit. <laughs> what if the lady is delighted? Quite frankly, I'm an accomplice now, and I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, about you it. are. And if I go down, I'm taking you down with me. I swear to God, because <laughs> you didn't do anything to stop me. Okay. Now, yeah. now I'm gonna say something to stop. Now, now you. What now if she you. writes back to the ransom note and she? It's a little tete a tete, and it's a fun back and forth, and cute. Yeah. it's and, and and then I get a great bit out of it, dude. So what are you? This six? is God giving me material, bro. What are you six? <laughs> no, it's I'm not six. Are, are you gonna do something? Cause you have a funny story to tell. What are we talking about here? No, but it's it's there. It's primed and ready to go. How about this? I'm surprised at you. How about this? I'm surprised. Learn at how you. to write comedy by <laughs> observing regular life <laughs> and not creating wild hairbrain scenarios. <laughs> hair to brain. talk about on stage. I do enough of that. Write but comedy when, but when, by <laughs> walking down the freezer aisle and going. I've noticed a few things in the ice cream I section do that too. today. That's all you got to do to write comedy for I the don't stage. Think so. When red leather pants come to me for a when women's pants get delivered to me erroneously for a second time, that's me being like, I need to follow this story. 
That's what I think. Okay. I, you, you keep writing about the frozen foods. Go ahead. I don't write about the frozen foods. I write about like the shit I was talking about earlier, how the world's in the toilet. <laughs> De Rosa, you, you, don't, you don't believe in destiny or fate? What, what are we, children? Yeah, and we all have guardian angels. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with everybody in this room? This is Sal's destiny, man. <laughs> That's your death. I'm um, your density. <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> Back to the future. By the yeah. way, that Lego, uh, the Lego DeLorean comes out April 1st. It's a shame you're going to be in the big house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring one to you. I'll try to smuggle you one in inside of a hoagie world. I, I'm, I'm really surprised how this all went down, if I'm being honest. I mean, you know, you're very outspoken about it. Uh, I, I, what? You have such a strong opinion the other way. I thought that you would indulge right, with me. It's crazy that I'm looking out for my friend, and I'm telling you it's not a good idea. Do you, do you believe in your heart of hearts? Do you believe there is a chance if I did this that I could get in some form of trouble for yes! me? Yes! I'm not asking you. <laughs> I know you just shouted that at me for a half hour. I'm asking them. Do you think, what do you think on a scale of one to ten, my risk factor is? Ten being arrest, one being absolutely jack shit. Oh, zero. Uh, you, you you, you, do you think there's a chance I, she can call the cops and the cops can come to my house? I think there's a good chance they might make you do free ad reads for the state of New York. Because <laughs> I'm only going to give, I'm going to give a fake email address. And so how are they going to track that down? They're going to really start to now go through, the, they're going to open it, launch an investigation. Fake email address. Yeah, I can't put my own. I'm not going to make that mistake twice. Oh, and do you think that the FBI... Remember when that phrase was brought up immediately last time you <laughs> yeah. did this? Yeah. FBI, three letters you don't ever want anybody to say to you in anger. You don't think if it got reported to the higher authorities, they couldn't investigate the email just and figure out who you are? They're going to lo- allocate this type of funding into finding this woman's pleather red pants? Pip, so, Pip, in this Google, crazy, uh, sick world we live in right now. Could you could you type in my name and I have your pants and just go to images? I want to show you. I want to show you what I did to this. What I sent this woman. (laughs) Jesus Christ! (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god! (laughs) (laughs) I realized after I took it that I was like, oh, I don't know if I should have really like. This looks insane. (laughs) What is wrong with you? I thought you meant you typed a letter to her. No, I. It's. I took it. Took me five hours. I cut those letters out. (laughs) <laughs> I thought it'd be funny to put my red socks on. That's where her pants actually ended. I mean, the it's very funny looking. Like, the pictures are really funny. I just can't believe you did this. Yeah. So this is what I'm saying, though. This is a, tel- this is a televised bit. It's a great project. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. You're supporting also the postal. Like, by buying stamps. I like this idea. Let's do this. You're, we'll you you're, you're outvoted, babe. You're outvoted. You're in hate babe country here. I don't give a shit that I'm outvoted. You all go to fucking jail. <laughs> you're going to be my first call. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to indict, indict the shit out of you Knock if I get called. Out. I'm going to implicate you left and right. The woman <laughs> you're dating that you mentioned on an episode of Taste Buds that we recorded today, but I don't know when it airs in <laughs> sure, comparison sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I would like to discuss the, how, what she thinks of this. Episode. Okay, and I have a feeling uh, she's not gonna agree with you. I have a feeling. Yeah, you got a feeling, Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Have you have you run this by her yet? No, no. Oh no! I'm actually, I have. Actually, I have. Yeah, what'd you I don't, say? I don't think she wants me to do it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. no, no. I, I brought it home and I was like, "Look, it's a sign." And then she was like, "No, you can't do that." So, but she didn't go off on it like she was going to get me arrested like you are. Well, what year was the first You didn't one? take it this far in front of her. Uh, I feel like it was 2015. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I could see getting away with it back then. Why? I don't know. I feel like everything's so crazy now. Everyone's tight now. Baby, we live in a world <laughs> well, where if being... somebody says... Where if somebody says they were mean to me at work, you almost go to jail. I, I think I, I, think <laughs> I they benefited. they know pants is a euphemism for something. I think I benefited, though. Ultimately, even though it was mortifying, I benefited from it ended up being my landlord's girlfriend because they're not going to send me. She, I mean, it, 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 that was yeah. squashed. Yeah. Or maybe it can be a really big Impractical um, Jokers fan, and then you'll benefit again. Yeah, what if it's... <laughs> like, no. Yeah. 
All right, well, we're going to do it. And yeah, the only thing, and is, the only thing that was not, really, really what if tough. It's not an imp- what if it's somebody who knows the Impractical Jokers but wants to exploit it for all the wrong reasons? All I'm saying is I had blisters on my fingers. It, it, take, it takes a while to write that thing. So yeah, I, but for comedic effect, I, I wrote 20 pages. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And tell us about the form. I have it downstairs. Have I still have it. How many magazines did you cut out of? It was. Uh, it had to be tw- 15, 20. What would be your tips for like a good ransom note? Um, well, I mean, there's really nothing to it. It's just that it's, it's, you know, it's, it's hard finding the letters, believe it or not, (laughs) for that many pages. Like it was, it was hard. It took, it took all night. And, uh, and actually my hands had blisters on them from the scissors because I only had the mini scissors. So like they were all like raw around the, I'm looking for sympathy now. <laughs> you ain't get it from me. All right, you well, deserved you, every one you of those blisters. Was, all right, all right. And well, may they have popped. We're not on the same page. Look, here's what happened today. And hurt we filmed more. a lot of podcasts today, <laughs> and this is toward the end of the day. We have fought. Him and I have fought today for four hours before we started this podcast because Chris was under the weather, and we came in off the heels of four hours of fighting. And I think there's remnants in the air of tension no, still. There's no remnants. Your idea is the idea of a stupid moron, <laughs> and you shouldn't do it. Okay. That's, it's that simple, Sal. There's no tension in the air. Okay. I say it out of love. You're a fucking idiot okay. if you do this. All right. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. We're going to roll the dice, and we're going to see what happens. So, Rosa, what was the last time you committed a crime? College? What'd you do? I think I stole a chicken sandwich out of the cafeteria that I didn't pay for. Okay. You know? I don't know. You're from Philly. I figured you got some good crimes. I got caught stealing when I was in 10th grade, and that kind of scared me straight. Yeah, I got caught stealing when I was young, too, yeah. at a baseball card show. Well, where I my sh- friend stole, and he put all the stuff in my fanny pack. But also, <laughs> like, I, you know... And I'm, I got caught. I, the, the majority of my weed, weed smoking was done illegally. That's not I've cool. done other drugs that are not declared legal yet. I told you I used to you steal know? chicken from my, jo- my job at Prudential. When I finally was in the actual workforce, they had a floor that was a cafeteria and it was huge and it had all different options. And I used to go down there and I, my friend taught me this trick. It was a hack. I used to get a large Dixie cup for fountain soda and then I just used to shove all the chicken fingers in them and then I put the cap on and put the straw in and I get up to the thing and pay for one fountain soda. But really I had like a, like a pound of chicken in it. Let me tell you this. I'll just if I got caught, that's mortifying, but I did it. This is the last thing. <laughs> Multiple times. This is the last thing Every I'll day say. I do. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> this is the last thing I'll say about this crime. They didn't shove hot dogs in there. <laughs> this is chicken, gonna be, this chicken is gonna be like the, that movie Sleepers. When they steal the hot dog cart from the from the old crotchety hot dog man because as a joke, and they're running and they can't get control of the cart and it rolls down the subway stairs and kills the guy. That This is like harmless prank that's going to go terribly, terribly wrong for you. Well, thank you for just bringing death into it. Well, I'm just telling you, uh, it's an analogy, but this is going to go terribly, terribly well, wrong. What happens in this movie? I forget. Does, the, the, does the Do they kids, go to jail? They go to a... They go to a they go to a boy's home, and then where one, Kevin kid, Bacon, one kid gets like where Kevin Bacon rapes them over and over yes, again. Yes. I don't mean to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but the prank goes wrong. Hits this guy, kills the guy, or or severely injures him. I think it kills him, and uh, and they go to jail or not jail, but they go to you know juvie or whatever it's called. And then when they get out and they grow up, they run into each other and they find, they, f- they randomly run into Kevin Bacon in a restaurant. Yes. And they kill him. And then they go to trial for murder and they rig the trial by having a lawyer they know work as the prosecutor against them. So, who, so I, I remember this came out, but I so the pro- I think one of the kids turns out to be a prosecutor. They have him prosecute them, and they do this whole elaborate scheme so they can basically throw the case and get away with the murder because Kevin Bacon was such a bastard to them. What's worse, you think? Do you think it's worse that I <laughs> playfully write to this woman about her pants in an attempt to really return them to her, or you laughing at children's being raped? <laughs> What do you think's worse? I wasn't. What's I, got, the worst I want to be very think? clear. What do you think's the worst look? <laughs> I want to be very clear. I wasn't laughing at the kids in sleepers being raped by Kevin Bacon. Oh, we, we had I was tape. laughing at. <laughs> we could play it back. At the knowledge that you soon will be raped repeatedly <laughs> <laughs> for committing this crime. Uh, this has been Hey Babe. 